Welcome to episode 93. I'm double mic'd. That's how big of a deal this is. It's Friday. Friday. You gotta get down on Friday. How's your Friday going? My Thursday is going okay. Uh, traffic is still stupid. But I guess it'll be that way for a little while, so maybe I should shut up about the traffic and the construction. This uh, writer's strike, what do you know about the strike in Hollywood for the Writer's Guild? Or the, is it the writers or the actors? I think it's the writers, but the actors are going along in support. I was listening to a podcast that was talking about it today, and Fran, the nanny, she's like the head of whatever, whatever guild it is, and she said that most, or uh, a good portion or something, of the writers are making $28,000 a year. The vast majority of those who call themselves actors don't make enough money even to qualify for the SAG-AFTRA health insurance plan. And by the way, that's less than $28,000. <clears> Which doesn't sound accurate. That sounds less than minimum wage in California. And as a matter of fact, the head of SAG-AFTRA actually acknowledged that a good deal of her membership makes less than $10,000 a year. Which is to say, this isn't a profession. In reality, it's not even a job. What do you know? What do you know about the uh, the strike? I don't know anything. No movies are being made right now, or not many. Or no no shows, no new shows are being written maybe right now. I don't know. If I were Hollywood, I would be worried that people would experience the lack of new content and go, finally. Actually, many of us think it might just give us a little bit of breathing space. Finally, I don't have to go see the new three Marvel movies that came out this month. I thought after COVID, uh, there was gonna be tons of really good movies that people have been just dying to make. And then COVID ended and they came out with you know, 20 more Marvel movies that they were just waiting to sell. I have not seen Mission Impossible, the new Mission Impossible, or Oppenheimer, or Barbie. So I guess I should watch those and then talk about the quality of movies out there. So Barbie and Oppenheimer came out, I guess, on the same day. Is that right? <clears throat> so all the uh, restaurants and coffee shops were trying to hop on the promotion bandwagon. Uh, our coffee shop that we go to on Fridays for prayer. Uh, all the staff was dressed up in either Barbie or Oppenheimer. So there was like a lot of pink and a lot of fedoras. I think their tip jars in the front were labeled Barbie or Oppenheimer. Now that's a good way of soliciting more tips, making it fun for the consumer. Oh! On my birthday, when I got, oh, oh, when Brittany made my book for me and gave it to me, my dad pointed out that now I've, I have a CD for sale, music, I have a merch store for my YouTube, and now I have a book for sale, like an author. What else? Do I have anything else? 
I'm not an actor. And if I were, I wouldn't be working right now. I guess that's it. Music. YouTuber. Author. Maybe I should make myself a Wikipedia page. Do uh, you think it's better to be... This is a dumb question. Is it really... Is it better to be... Uh, finger in a lot of pies? Is that the right phrase? I feel like it's not. Is it better to like be diverse in your talents or to be singular in your talents? YouTubing is not one of my talents, but it's just something I do. It's definitely better to do less, right? I read a book once that said, do less for more. Not do more for less. So maybe I should do less things, put more effort into what I do do. Do do. <laughs> so today's Thursday. This is the last night that we'll be house sitting. And we just gotta get everything ready 